Hello, welcome to the Punjabi Gardener. Um, you can follow me on Facebook or on Instagram at the Punjabi Gardener. Today's video, I'm going to take a slightly uh, different uh, take, and uh, that's going to be about mental health. Uh, it's been quite big in the press uh, over the last six months or so, uh, particularly more prominent, I'd say, during lockdown, where people have been at home, they're stuck at home. Some of them are working from home, some of them aren't working from home. Uh, so during lockdown, mental health is certainly a big issue. But I think we need to remember that mental health um, and the people that suffer from it, they feel the way they do all the time. It's not about lockdown. They feel this way all the time. And from a certain point of experience or a level of experience I found that gardening is one way of dealing with, uh, with mental health. Of course you've got exercise, you've got gyms, you've got clubs, you've got uh, social venues but um, especially during the lockdown you, can't, you couldn't go to a gym anyway um, and socialisation was also restricted so gardening is one way of dealing with mental health. Why is that? Well caring for a plant. It's really something as simple as that. So even a plant on your desk, the fact that you're caring for the plant, uh, you're nurturing the plant, you feel a lot more energised. Uh, ultimately, it's allowing you to think more clearly. Uh, gardening its actually been proven to be quite beneficial for those who suffer from anxiety or depression. Uh, and that's certainly on the increase. Gardening itself it provides um, physical benefits, so you're using your arms, your legs, you're crouching down, uh, you're crouching over, you're bending down, you're cutting things, and it also provides mental exercise. And the mental part of it actually releases endorphins. You might want to look that up on Google, but it's simply a happy chemical. So uh, it, it's, uh, it's making you happy with what you're doing. Um, as I said, with gardening, it's providing you a sense of responsibility, a sense of purpose and pride. Uh, plants, this is a rose, there's other vegetables here, there's parsnips. Plants actually provide oxygen, which is good for your brain, which then allows you to think more clearly, uh, makes you feel more relaxed. Um, when we're working, we are focused on, uh, we have a specific focus in mind and um, which can lead to stress uh, you know if you're if you're over focused but gardening and other creative uh, hobbies focus on fascination so you're intrigued by what might happen so it's quite different difference from uh, focused attention which you'd use at work and don't forget you don't need to garden on your own um, you could garden with a neighbor you can go to an allotment there's very various community groups that you can guard, uh, guard them through. Um, so yeah, mental health and gardening, I think it works. Um, you don't have to have a huge garden either. You could start off with just a couple of pots, you know, and put some seeds in and see how they grow. Um, there's going to be more videos on mental health because you just can't deal with it in just a couple of minutes. So as I said to you, um, my name is Param G. Dull. I'm known on social media as the Punjabi Gardener. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.